going to draw the recycling symbol. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. This is the symbol with the arrows, the three arrows that go around and kind of make a triangle shape. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but also a pencil. You also need... Some paper and something to go with. Yeah. All right. Let's start. Yes. Let's first start with our pencil, and we're going to draw a triangle shape, a really big triangle shape. And we're using the pencil first to draw guidelines. And this will make it a lot easier to make all of the arrows. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a really big triangle. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to come all the way across. If you want to, you could use a ruler, but we're just going to use freehand. And also, you could press lightly so that it's easier to erase at the end. We're pressing uh, harder so that it shows up on the camera. Now let's split this line in half, maybe right about here, and we're going to go straight up. <laughs> and we can add a guide point right about there. Oh, I make it, well, yeah, a little higher. There we go. I'm going to erase this other point so I know which one to draw to. Let's start on the left side down here, and we're going to draw a straight line that goes up to that guide point. Then we're going to draw a guideline coming down and connecting to the line over here. We got it. <laughs> our triangle shape. Now we're going to draw a triangle on the inside of this one. So we're going to draw a little smaller. Let's come straight in, and then we're going to add a guide point maybe about there. So we're going to come down about that far. Nice. And then we're going to draw a guideline that comes down and it matches the outside guideline. We're going to come down and then we're going to stop maybe right about there. Yeah. And then we can do the same thing over here on the right side. Now let's draw a straight line. I'm going to turn my paper sideways. We're going to draw a straight line that comes across. And I'm also realizing that this line is a little diagonal. So I'm going to redraw that just for fun. Oh, that looks, that looks better. <laughs> and I notice you have two lines also. <laughs> so if you want to, you can redraw any of the lines. That's the nice part about using a pencil. And then you can go back and erase the line that you don't want to use. Now, once we got our triangles just the way we want them, we're going to cut off the, the points on our triangle. So let's draw a straight line. I'm going to draw it right about here. And I'm going to chop off that corner. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing on the top corner. Chop off the corner up there. And also on the side. So all three corners draw a straight line through them. Then let's erase the corners. Now we're ready to draw our arrows. Let's first draw the arrow on the bottom. Let's draw a line right down the middle first. So we're going to draw it right here. And yeah, just down here at the bottom. So I started up at the top and kind of drew an imaginary line, but we're just drawing it down here in between these two lines. Now let's come over here and we're going to draw, let's draw a line that goes straight through and comes out a little further on the top and also the bottom. Then we're going to split this line in half and we can add a little guide point. From that guide point, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down and connects to this straight line. And then also a diagonal line that connects to the top. Now let's erase some of the extra guidelines. We're going to erase this line on the top. And then we can also erase the line on the bottom. And then let's erase the corner right here. I'm going to make my eraser a little bigger. Then we're going to erase the corner line on the bottom and also on the top. There you go. There. And also, one last one, this line right here. So when you're all done, it should look like, I'm going to go over this a little darker so that our art friends at home or in the classroom can see the arrow, what, what it looks like when it's all done. So we come down, back up, and then it comes this way too. Oh, that looks so <laughs> cool. Now we're going to do that two more times. So let's, let's do the next arrow over here on the left. We're going to do the same thing, split it right in the middle. I like repeating the same steps. 
Then we're going to draw another line that splits, well, goes through and extends past on each side. Yeah, so go a little further on the top and also the bottom. There you go. Yeah. And then we're going to measure this line with our eyes at a guide point right in the middle of that line. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes from that point and connects down there to the right and also to the left. There. All right, now we're ready to erase the extra guide lines. So let's do the same thing. We'll erase these two lines on the outside of the arrow. Then we can erase the two little ones on the inside of the arrow. And then the big one that's going across the bottom of the arrow. Let's do that one more time for the arrow on the right side. So a line straight down the middle in between. So I'm splitting it this way. So a line right down the middle of this side of our triangle. And then we're going to do another one above it that extends out past the left side and also the right side. I'm going to make my arrow a little bigger, so I'm going to slide. I'm going to move that line up a little higher, and then I'm going to erase that first line I drew. I think mine's good. I think so, too. Do you remember the next step? Yeah, you put a point right here. Yes. Split this line right in half and add a guide point. And then what's, what's the next step? Then you draw the diag diagonal line. Diagonal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw the diagonal line from the edge of that line to the point on both sides, right? I like saying diagonal. Diagonal. <laughs> now what's the next step? Uh, erase the lines. Yes, we're going to erase the extra guidelines. Let's do the two on the outside. And then we can do the two on the inside. And then also the big line for the bottom of the arrow. Let's use our pencil for one more thing. We're going to draw curves in each of the corners. So I'm going to draw a curve here. Yes, and then we're going to draw a curve at the bottom one, too. And then we can go back in and erase the corners. Okay, now we're going to do that same thing to the corners up here at the top. We'll draw a little corner right here, or a curve in the corner, and a curve over here on the side, too. Yeah, and then let's erase the corners. Now remember, if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yes, if you need extra time. All right, now let's add curves in the corners on the right side. So we'll draw a curve here and here, and then erase the corners. Now we're going to switch to our marker, and this part's super easy and fun. We're just going to trace over all of the pencil lines, the pencil guidelines that we've drawn. This part we're going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to trace over your pencil lines also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, we did it. We finished tracing over all of our pencil guidelines, except it doesn't quite look like the recycling sign. We need to make it 3D. Yeah, the arrows need to look more 3D. So let's start over here on the left arrow, and this line, see the inside line? Watch this. I'm going to come down. I'm going to trace over it again. And I'm going to curve into the bottom line. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so come down. And then you curve into the bottom. Yeah, just like that. OK, now we're going to do the top line or the top arrow. Let's pick the inside line right here. See the arrow? We're going to trace over this line. Watch. I'm going to come across and then curve into the outside line. Now it's starting, keep going. It's starting to look more like it. Yeah. Now we have one more arrow. We're going to do the same thing. The inside line, we're going to start at the arrow, trace back over this line, and we're going to curve into the outside line. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our recycling symbol. But we still need a color. We do. Now this part, we're going to fast forward one more time. But at the end, you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. Oh, and we also need to use our erasers and erase the guidelines that you can still see. That we want to do that before we color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it.
Natalie, we did it. We finished coloring and drawing a recycling symbol. It turned out awesome. We used two greens, a light green and a dark green. We used our biannual markers. And which colors did we use? G515. Yeah, that's the light green. And the darker green is? G025. Yeah, I also used my white colored pencil to add a little highlight to make it look even more 3D. Oh, and also a shadow with my gray marker. We hope you all have been drawing the recycling sign. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.